Alright folks, welcome back to the channel. Tonight we've got some hot news about the Pittsburgh Steelers. Earlier today, they made a trade that's got everyone talking. It's like they swapped a bag of stale chips for a fresh one. Well, not exactly fresh, more like a bundle pack deal. Anyway, they traded Justin Fields for a 6th round draft pick. But get this, if he plays more than 51% of the snaps, that pick turns into a 4th rounder. And guess what? Rumor has it, Russell Wilson might be stepping in as the starting quarterback with Fields as the backup. Steelers fans, you're sitting pretty. Now, Fields is in his final year of rookie contract. But hold up, Wilson might just be taking the spotlight. Hats off to Omar Conan for pulling off these moves. It's like he's a magician. From Patrick Queen to Justin Fields to Russell Wilson, the Steelers roster is looking stacked. And hey, I had to make this video real quick because, well, things are happening fast. Pittsburgh's offense is shaping up to be something fierce. And mark my words, they're not finished yet. I'm calling it, folks. Tyler Boyd might just be joining the Pittsburgh Steelers in the next week. Yep, you heard it here first. And guess what? They still have their first round draft pick. They're gearing up to strengthen that offense both in the draft and through free agency. The Steelers front office is doing an exquisite job and that's what I want to dive into in tonight's video. But before we get started, do me a solid, hit that like button and smash that subscribe button for daily NFL content. Steelers fans, you know I've been churning out those daily Steelers videos so let's shoot for 500 likes on this one, shall we? Now let's talk about some beautiful, majestic moves if you've been following this channel, you know I'm all about the hometown hero, Kenny Pickett. He got traded yesterday. And let me tell you, it just made too much sense. Now, full disclosure, I'm a Packers fan, but personal biases aside, let's look at the facts. We lost Aaron Jones for the third time, and now Pittsburgh's facing a QB dilemma. Kenny Pickett and Mason Rudolph together went 10-7 to last year. But let's be real, Pittsburgh needs a solid quarterback. Sure, you can blame it on Matt Canada or whoever else, but in the NFL, it's all about making those strategic moves. Back to the offense. Pittsburgh's in a real interesting spot. Just the other day, I was at the bar hashing out these very same points. All right, so I was chatting with a couple of Steelers fans the other day, and you know what we all agreed on? Offense wins championships nowadays. Sure, Russell Wilson and Justin Fields aside, what sets Pittsburgh apart is their elite defense. Now, I get it. They've lost a few key players like Cole Hool and Patrick Peterson, but they've also picked up some talent like Patrick Queen. Defense has never been an issue for the Steelers. But let's talk turkey here. When your team goes 10-7 and still ends up with the fourth worst offense, statistically, something's got to give. Unless Kenny Pickett got injured super early in the season and we just didn't see enough, there's no excuse. Russell Wilson had 26 passing touchdowns and only 8 interceptions last season. You know how many passing touchdowns the Steelers managed in the last two years? 25. And let's not forget, the Steelers have lost their last six playoff games. I promise this is the last time I'll bring it up. But if your starting quarterback goes down and your third stringer wins you the last three games, getting you into the playoffs, there's no excuse. Think about Patrick Mahomes, Lamar Jackson, Joe Burrow, Josh Allen, any of those AFC players. If you're playing against them with your third string QB, you're in trouble. Now, with Russell Wilson and Justin Fields on board, the Steelers finally have two solid quarterbacks. Sure, Deontay Johnson got traded, but mark my words, they're making moves. Tyler Boyd might just be next on their radar. And come draft day, I wouldn't be surprised to see them snag a rookie wide receiver. With weapons like Jalen Warren and Najee Harris, paired with offensive minds like Arthur Smith and Matt Canada, the Steelers are poised for a comeback. Let's just hope they can turn things around and put some serious points on the board. I've been keeping a close eye on games like 
Falcons versus Packers. And it got me thinking. I watched the Falcons put up a 400-yard game with Desmond Ritter at the helm, and I couldn't help but wonder what's missing in Pittsburgh. But hey, they're stepping up their game. With the star signing of Patrick Queen, their defense is looking fierce. And now, with two quarterbacks in the mix, it's shaping up to be Russell Wilson as the starter and Justin Fields as the backup. No matter what the future holds for Pittsburgh's quarterback position, this upcoming year is bound to be a game changer. I mean, think about it. New offensive coordinator, two solid QBs signed. It's like night and day. Pittsburgh needed a move like this. They were the fourth worst scoring offense, yet still made the playoffs. But let's face it, they've got tough competition. Joe Burrow, Lamar Jackson, even Deshaun Watson. They've got to face these guys twice a year. They need a QB who can manage the game effectively. Now, I've got nothing against Kenny Pickett, but six touchdowns, four interceptions, and less than 200 passing yards per game? That's just not going to cut it. The Steelers' offseason isn't over yet, though. Omar Khan is making bold moves, shifting gears, and I'm here for it. Whether it's Justin Fields to the Steelers or even as a backup, it's a move worth talking about. What do you think? Hit that like button, hit that sub button, and keep an eye on the Pittsburgh Steelers. Big things are coming.